Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you the projects I made for the new Project Stain Paper collaboration that I'm working on with Deb Houck, who is Deb's Crafty Cottage here on YouTube. Um, I finished up a 12 by 12 that I should have finished last month, but my mojo just wasn't cooperating with me. But it, it made a turnaround for the good in April. And so I finished off that 12 by 12, so much so that this is all that's left of the front cover. I saved the cardboard chipboard backing to use uh, for whatever, but I cut apart this cover to use on some projects that I'll be showing you. But I can't remember the name of the paper pad that it was, but this is all that's left. But anyway, um, I had shown last time a box and then I showed some cards that I had started and just never finished. Like I said, my mojo just kind of quit on me. Well, I finished up those cards um, and it's been such a long time I can't remember where I got this fun fold card idea, but it opens up like that and then I made a belly band and um, used a die to cut out some of the pattern paper, cardstock for the belly band, and then covered it with scraps of paper. This is popped up with um, craft foam, I believe, and then behind it is a scallop oval. So I've got that one, and then I've got this one here. So the card itself is made from the pattern paper, and I just put it onto some cardstock to make it sturdier and then a belly band to help keep it closed. And then um, this one right here. This was my absolute almost favorite paper from that paper pad. Just love it for some reason. Just so sweet. So anyway, I made those three cards that I hadn't finished from before. So I finished those up. And then I took the um, papers that were left and I followed this fun fold card template that I printed off from Patty Bennett at pattystamps.com. So you have a piece of um, pattern paper that is cut five and a fourth by eleven and three fourths and then you score it at one and three fourths, four and three fourths, and seven three fourths and you accordion fold it. And you can make it into an accordion card like she did here. But I turned it into pocket cards like she did down here. On some of them anyway. So let me show you what I did. So I've got this one. So um, Again, it's just on a single sheet of um, cardstock for the backing, and then the card itself is made from the pattern paper. And when you fold it up, when you fold up that pattern paper, and if you glue the edges down and the bottom down, then it forms two pockets. And that's what I did with with the leftovers. And then um, from a previous paper pad, I had made these little things. I think it was from a 6x6 six six paper pad, I think. Anyway, I had made these embellishments for another collab a while ago, and I thought, well, this is a good way to put those to use. So I tucked one in there, and then these are some little um, table tents for names for a party. And I just had a package of those, so I just stuck one in one of the pockets, because the lazy top <clears throat> went so nicely with this paper. This is some paper tape, some lace paper tape that I bought a long time ago. So I've got that one and this one and they're all filled the same with the little file folder tag and then a table tent. And then I've got this one right here. And then whatever other scraps were left were just really too small to for me to think about doing anything with. So I made those cards to finish up that paper pad and then I started a new one. So the new one I started is called Flutter Bloom. It has 48 sheets. 
I bought this a couple years ago in a D stash, and it was um, brand new. I like the bright, perky colors, and I love butterflies. So there's some wild ones and some more neutral ones and some cut aparts. And one of the pages, I think it was one of those, had a piece torn out of it, you know, like just a little chunk torn out. Otherwise, the, the paper pad was, was complete. Here's an alphabet cut apart. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I think those are hard to use. And then um, I started using it up already. Cut some things out. Oh, here's that paper. It was, everything was full size in the sheet except this little corner that was torn out right here. Don't know why, but that's how it came to me. So. I took one of the alphabet cut apart papers and cut all the letters apart. have to figure out a way to use those. And then I took one of the cut apart sheets and cut it apart. So for some of the letters, I took some of my stickers and just added stickers to them to make words. So this one says hi. This was an E, so I added a B and an E, and then a little puffy B sticker. Here's another one that was the letter B, and I just added two E's and a B. Here's another high. This one says love. This one says to do. Here's another high. Excuse me if I'm need to move these down some, I guess. Um, here's an OK and XOXO. I guess it goes that way. And then this one spells out the word U. And then this one, it's not a rose, but I made the word rose with the R and then some letter stickers. And then this is one I forgot about, so I'm going to have to do something with it. So then I took the cut apart pages and I glued the cut aparts to the cover of the previous 12 by 12 that I just finished just to make it sturdier. And then I covered the front and back sides with um, the front with the cut apart and the back with some more patterned paper. And then I just went through my stash and pulled out some different stickers and embellishments and added them. And I made kind of like a little tag flip and I've got a Got to stick this one in here. Got to. Um, what I did is I went through the paper pad and I just stuck the cut apart on the page that I thought I would use the background for. And I must have forgotten about this one because the back's not covered. So I got to add that here. But here's another one. This was a, a sticker from Michaels when they had some that were Mary Engelbrecht um, inspired. And then I went over the word beautiful with the um, Wink Estella pen. And then this is some satin trim that I had. And then I added little rhinestones to the centers of, or little enamel dots to the centers of the flowers. Um, this was a puffy sticker from Dollar Tree. And this was a layered corrugated sticker from Dollar Tree. Here I, this says be always blooming, so on the butterfly I took some silver outline rose stickers and stuck them on the wings for the blooming part of the butterfly, and then some enamel dots on the upper wings, and some stickles on these flowers, and stickles on these little dots down here. And then I added to this one one of those clear pockets from Target Dollar Spot and put in some um, little enamel-like dots. These are from Dollar Tree version of enamel dots. Then for this one, I also went over the letters with Wink Estella and I added some butterfly puffy stickers and those were from the paper studio. 
and also on the back one of the clear pockets and some multicolored rhinestones for the inside. For this one I used up my last three stitched and layered butterflies. They were from a sticker pack from American Crafts. I'm sure I got it at Tuesday morning. Added some um, enamel dots here. Popped one of the border strips up and went over the words with Winka Stella. And then um, this one, which is really the front, is um, a smaller cut apart. I rounded two opposite corners with the corner chomper. Added some puffy butterflies and some stickles to the center of the flower and the little flower down there. And then um, this one is Take Flight. I went over the little flight lines with Winka Stella and added stickles to the butterfly. So what I need to do is um, go back to that paper pad and put the backing on and decide how I'm going to embellish this and add it to my tag flip. So I will get that done. So um, yeah, I have to come up with something for the rest of the letters of the alphabet and um, of course more projects for the rest of the paper pad. I'd like to thank you for joining me. Down below I'll leave a link to Deb's channel so you can check out her progress on her 12x12. And now I'm off to create.